Who's ever heard of the exit pupil on your rifle scope or your binoculars? Um, I'm sure you have, you just didn't call it an exit pupil. So what you want to think about when buying an optic, especially for us hunters, you know, whitetail hunters where the best time of the day is that last 30 minutes or that first 30 minutes of the day, so you got low light, right? So you want to think about exit pupil because the larger the exit pupil, the more light you're going to gather. Uh, and we want to be able to gather good light and be able to have a good clear image for as long as possible in that afternoon sit, you know, right up till the end of shooting light. That way we can make a good shot when we get that opportunity to big buck, right? For example, on a set of binoculars that are eight by 42, you take 42 divided by eight and you get a 5.2 exit pupil. Well, with that, you're gonna gather more light than you will with a 10 power set. So if you take a 10 by 42, so divide the 42 by 10, you get a 4.2 exit pupil and it's gonna gather less light. So think about it in the sense of, if you're in a low light situation like us white tail hunters are, a lot of times, the higher the power, the less light you're gonna gather. Just think about those things when you're buying your next set of binoculars or your scope. You know, have that ability to back it off. You know, a lot of guys are like, man, I want that high powered scope. Well, if you're a white tail hunter, it's gonna create challenges for you when you're in that low light situation and that big buck walks out. Good luck, hope you have a great season.